Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are just joining me now then I would love it if you would stick around and hit that subscribe button. Today I'm doing a bit of a different video. I'm going to be following a Mia's Life vegan cookie recipe. She is part of the Fizz fam. I absolutely love the Fizz fam. They're a vegan family. I'm not vegan myself. I'm very interested in it and I love incorporating vegan recipes into my life and I am vegetarian so you know still don't eat meat but yeah I'm not all the way to vegan just yet I mean I might be one day but so far I'm just vegetarian and so yeah I'm going to be doing the vegan cookie recipe so so where she did this cookie recipe is over on the fizz fam instagram so oh that rhymes so if you want to check that out then feel free and also if you'd like to check me out on instagram I will leave it somewhere on the screen and yeah I'm going to get started so first things first I'm going to be starting with cashew butter. She used cashew butter. She said you could also can use nut butter, like any other nut butter. So I think almond would be quite nice because, I don't know, I just like almond and this kind of cookie would, it sounds quite nice. I don't think peanut butter, like just my personal preference, I'm not keen on, I'm not keen on peanut butter in like a smoothie or in like cookies. I much prefer peanut butter like on toast or like as a sandwich. Oh, God. Oh, done it. Okay. So, it says... I've got the recipe down here. I wrote it all down because I just thought it'd be easier. So, the recipe says to use one cup of nut butter. This is going to be the whole thing. So, I have this. Sorry if it's a bit noisy. So, this is one cup. Oh, God. How am I going to do this? I'm going to have to sit it down. Use my wooden spoon. Oh, it smells very similar to peanut butter. So I'm just gonna... I hope I have enough. Because this one cup is loads. Okay, that is a full jar of the cashew butter. I probably should have got another one because I feel like I haven't filled this whole cup. That's what it's looking like and there's some space. So hopefully this will still work even though it's not fully filled. She did say in the video that you can eyeball it a bit more. It's not like you have to be really, really precise. So. I am hoping that that is true and I don't need any more than I already have in this. I think I might add just a little bit of peanut butter because I don't think we have almond. I'm going to check but I would have liked to not use peanut butter but it does look like there is quite a bit of space going on. So I'm going to check if we have some almond butter or peanut butter. So we have this huge tub of peanut butter. My mum does love peanut butter. Like I said, I like it on toast. I'm just not keen on it in like smoothies and cooking and things. But because there is quite a big gap, I'm going to use a little bit in this. I don't think it'll you'll be able to taste it as much once it's all mixed together. It just needs a little bit extra. So I'm going to add this. I think that's enough. I mean... I don't want to use too much, so I think that'll be good. Put that in. Oh, and also I, I've set my oven to 160, but it does say 180 on here. But I'm just leaving it on 160 just to warm up, and then I will put it on 180 when it's ready to go in the oven. So the next ingredient is flour, so I'm just going to wash this out so it doesn't stick to the inside. So next I'm going in with whole wheat flour, that is the American term apparently, so the English term which is me is just whole meal flour, so I'm going to be taking one cup of that, I might be wrong about the peanut butter, I just feel like whenever I've tried it in the recipes that I've tried it in it's just been a bit too much and a bit overpowering and that's the only thing I can taste, but in other recipes it might be absolutely fine, I just haven't tried a recipe yet that it's been really good in. So, if there is a recipe that has peanut butter and it is amazing, then let me know. I think that's the cup. Yep. Pour that in. 
Got it all over the side, great. So I'm going to start mixing that. Oh, it's very stiff. It's going to get even drier because the next ingredient is cane sugar. So this is going to be very dry at the moment until I add milk and vanilla extract. So there's no point in keep mixing that. I'm going to do the cane sugar next. Move the flour. So yeah, this one is golden granules, cane sugar, and it's organic. So you can, I think she said you can use any sugar you want, but they used this. They used the cane sugar. So that's what I'm going to use. I can open it. Oh gosh, don't go everywhere. There we go. One cup of cane sugar. Can you see? Like this. And I'm going to pour that in. Oh, I love sugar, it's so satisfying. And then it is half a teaspoon of baking powder. So just give this a bit of a stir. I'm really excited to try this. Like, it sounds amazing. Like, I'm really, really excited. There was a vegan cheesecake at this restaurant I used to work at, and that was insane everybody who tried it absolutely loved it didn't have to be vegan themselves and they loved it it was the best cheesecake it was better than the cheesecake that wasn't vegan lighting is not very good i've just turned the brightness down i hope that's a bit better because i feel like the sun keeps going in and out and i just didn't know if it was just making it a little bit overexposed i hope that's okay i would turn the camera this way but we've got a bit of a mess going on over there because we've got a puppy and my mum's just done the washing so it's just sort of in little piles so I'm just gonna keep your face in this way so you don't have to look at that but I hope the lighting's okay sorry if it's not okay so it's looking a bit like this and now I'm going to add in the half a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, there we go. Half a teaspoon. Just checking that's right. Oh gosh. Ooh. I think that's about half a teaspoon. Would you say? You can see that? There we go. That'll do. And then half a teaspoon of salt. Now, this is what we have on our table, but it is sea salt. That's what she says to use is sea salt because it's a bit more better for you. I'm just going to grind it in my hand and then check that it's the right amount on my teaspoon. The salt that I really like is pink Himalayan. I think pink Himalayan is so, so nice. And I think it is better for you. So that's not half a teaspoon, but it's good enough. I'll add a little bit more. This this isn't very good. Like, what is going on with our salt shaker? It's not grinding. That's great. Just what you want when you're trying to cook. That'll be enough salt. And then, what have we got now? Then it just said cinnamon for taste. So... She didn't say how much, so I'm just going to use as much as I want. I like cinnamon, so that'll do. I put in quite a lot. I'm hoping that won't affect the recipe. I really love cinnamon. Cinnamon biscuits or cookies are my absolute fave. They used to do, what was it called, like oat and raisin at... Subway and they got rid of it because apparently no one bought it. That was my favourite cookie and it was also my boyfriend's favourite cookie and my dad's favourite cookie and they got rid of it. Apparently nobody bought it. I don't know why because it tasted amazing. So that was sad. So next is one tablespoon of vanilla extract. I have this vanilla bean paste which is organic. So, oh, it's stuck. Have I ever opened this? I don't know. Oh. Okay, 
Ooh. Oh, it smells like alcoholic. Jeez. Okay. Is it short? Is that right? One tablespoon? Yeah, one tablespoon. Oh gosh. Oh, it's like medicine. Ooh. One tablespoon going in. Yeah, just smell a bit, a bit strange. So just pull that in there. Okay, and then what? Oh, I need to wipe my hands. And then one fourth cup of dairy free milk. I'm going to be using soya. This one is Alpro soya. So, yeah, I'm going to use this. And is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. So, this is one fourth cup. I have one fourth cup, that's great. One fourth cup. And I'm going to bob that in now. If you don't have one of these, she also said that one fourth cup is about six tablespoons. I wrote that down as well, just in case I didn't have one of these. But I went out to the shop and I got some because I just thought it's so much easier just to have the measurements in cups. Because we don't have that. I don't know if it's an English thing to have measurements in cups. We normally do like mil and grams. We have like mil, grams, that sort of thing. So... Yeah, I went out and got one of these. Oh gosh, okay, that is definitely one fourth. Put that in. And now I'm going to do a hell of a lot of mixing. It's looking a lot better now that I've added all the wet ingredients. So I'm actually being able to mix it. And it smells really nice. It actually, it smells quite healthy, but in a nice way, it doesn't smell too healthy in the fact of like, oh, it's not going to be a nice cookie, because you still want it to be sweet and like a tasty cookie. So now I'm just going to get a baking tray and get some greaseproof paper and lay that on. If we don't have that, then I'm just going to spritz it with some coconut oil, so hopefully that'll do the same thing. We have some greaseproof paper, so that's great. It doesn't sit in unless I put some kind of stickiness underneath, but it doesn't matter because I'm just going to ball this up. I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to ball it up and put it in and that'll weigh it down. So now I've washed my hands, I'm going to be taking the mixture and making it into little balls. I hope I have put enough. Oh, just drop them. I'm going to add a little bit more cinnamon and mix that in. Okay, so I just added a little bit more flour just because it felt a little bit too sticky. So you can do that as well, obviously, if you are going to also do this cookie recipe. Then if it is feeling just that tad bit too sticky and it's not going into balls very easily, then just add a little bit more. I don't think it'll cause a problem. That feels way better now. I can actually move it and it's not sticking to my hands. So let's try that again. Little ball. I can always make these balls a little bit bigger if I feel like they need a little bit extra. I want them to all be similar size. Okay, so this is what I have. I just have six balls. I think it is supposed to make six, six cookies. I just, oh gosh, it's rolling away. Six little balls. They're all, I've tried to make them all the same size, but some might be a little bit bigger. Okay, now what she said to do is just push a hole in the middle with your thumb. So, because this part is for the jam that we're going to add next. And you can add whatever flavour jam that you want. She used, I think it was ginger and cinnamon. Yeah, ginger and cinnamon jam, which sounds amazing. But they did not have that in my shop. So the closest I could get was apple and cinnamon. So I'm going to use apple and cinnamon. But if you're not keen on that flavour, then feel free to use strawberry jam or raspberry jam something like that okay so this is what they're looking like after i have pressed my thumb in the middle i haven't pushed all the way down so i've just gone sort of halfway and now i'm going to be taking my apple and cinnamon jam just looks like this and i'm going to take a teaspoon of that oh it smells nice i'm going to take a teaspoon and put this in i think what i might do is Three of them with this, and then three with strawberry jam. That sounds like a good idea. So, there's one. All done. So 
this is what they're looking like, three jam ones and three apple and cinnamon ones. And now I'm going to put this in the oven until, she says, until they look a little bit crispy on top, but don't try and lift them up because they are going to be super, super soft when you get them out of the oven in 10 to 12 minutes. So when they look a little bit cracked on top, which they already do kind of look a bit like that, so I feel like it's going to be hard to tell. But in 10 to 12 minutes, I'm going to pull them out and I'm just going to leave them on the side until they are completely cooled down and then they'll be good to go. So I've just set my timer for 10 to 12 minutes and I've put the oven on 180 and then I'm going to come back when I pull them out. So the cookies are now done. I'm just going to go get them out. Off the oven. Oh, I need a cloth. Otherwise I will burn my hands. They are looking amazing. Oh, it smells good. Oh god. Ooh, I'm going to drop them. Nearly dropped them on the floor. That's great. So I've just pulled the cookies out of the oven and placed them over there. They are absolutely roasting, so they need a good time to cool down before I can give them a try. So this is what they're looking like. I've just turned the brightness down on my camera. It still does look quite bright, but this is what they're looking like. I can see what she means by them looking a little bit cracked and a little bit crispy. So I'm going to let them cool down and then I'm going to come back and try them on camera. Okay, so this is what they look like now that they're all cooled down. They're looking absolutely delicious. I'm just going to be taking each one off the greaseproof paper. So this is what they're looking like. They look so delicious and I'm very proud of myself. So I'm just going to cut one in half because they are quite soft still. I don't want to ruin them by taking too much. Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah, so they are still a little bit soft. I probably should have left them a little bit longer, but I'm still going to give it a go. So, yeah, definitely wait until they've properly cooled down, unlike me, who's impatient. So I'm going to try a bit. Mmm. Oh, that's really nice. Oh my gosh. So sweet, nutty, jammy, cinnamony. Oh my gosh. That is divine. Mmm. Oh. I oh, know. Yeah. I'm dropping it everywhere. They're really, really good. Oh my gosh. I'm going to finish this and then come back. So that's everything I have for you today, guys. If you did enjoy watching, then please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see any more cooking videos from me, then that is absolutely fine. I really enjoyed doing this. And if you're vegan or you're not vegan or anything like that, give these a go. They are so, so nice. If you like cinnamon, jam, anything like that, these are really, really good. And I'm not just saying that. They are so, so divine. I just got my dad to try them. He's not vegan and he really enjoyed it. And he said, my mum will also really enjoy it. And that is true. So yeah, thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.